Hi guys and welcome back to another video about the 1840s dress. Today we are making the skirt of the actual dress itself. But before we get started, please click on my logo in the corner down here to subscribe to my channel as I'm currently trying to reach 500 subscribers before March 31st and I would be really grateful for your support. Now let's get started. For the skirt I used 3 meters of this historical looking print as I want my skirt to be really full once we wear it with the petticoats. I have now pleated the whole length of the skirt with 3 cm pleats, each overlapping by 1 cm. This should work fine for anyone with a waist under 70 cm, as with my between 60 and 64 cm waist, there is still a bit of fabric left at the back. I'm now ready to sew the pleats in place. So here is what the skirt will basically look like. So now that I've sewn the pleats in place, it's time to fix the back of the skirt. So here I'm just pinning a double seam allowance in place so the fabric doesn't fray. Because as you can see the rough edge does tend to fray a bit, especially after washing. So that's why I'm doing a double fold here to create a nice rolled hem that won't fray. And the reason why I'm so lucky with this fabric is that number one, it looks really vintage from the pattern and number two, its width was 110 centimeters so, so I don't have to measure the length of the skirt but I can just use the whole fabric and I just need to know how long the piece should be So now to repin the folds I've undone and I'm going to waste as much fabric here as I can as there is still a good 5 to 10 centimeters surplus fabric here. So the best way I figured to do this is just to double pin, to pin this bit onto the previous fold the fabric is um, used up. As you can see, if we'll just tighten this, that there's still this much fabric, this bit right here, surplus. So I think what I'm going to do is I'll leave it like this. I'll just unpin those again. I'll put the fold back in here and then I'll just put a button here or something and then I'll just be able to pin this part over there. This also hides the back seam nicely. Now to finish the hem of the skirt and to add that button I talked about and the skirt will be done. I'm going to be generous at the hem so I'm going to use well about five centimeters of hem this time as the skirt is a tiny bit too long for me and that way I can also let out some fabric once I grow older and taller. So let's just go ahead. The reason I'm doing this by hand is that I'm going to use an invisible stitch. That means not entirely invisible from the inside, but nearly invisible from the outside. And that will give my dress a professional finish. So what I'm doing is that I just carefully get one or two threads here and then I'll stitch through the 
inner fabric again. It will be quite a task to do all those three meters in this stitch, but it's going to be worth it. And here we have the finished skirt paired with my petticoats and corset, the videos of which you can see at either side. See you next time! Bye bye!